All right, guys, so I am now in Chiang Rai. I'm taking a day to just subtly look around this place. I can see the pace of life is a lot slower. There's not as much traffic. It's calm. It's relaxed. It's slow-paced. Really, it's just fascinating to get to see this place. All right, guys, here's some downtown Chiang Rai. This place is a little bit busier. Still slow pace compared to Chiang Mai and definitely Bangkok. You can see there's different stores. You can buy clothes. You can buy motorbikes. You can buy all sorts of good stuff. There's not that much English over here. Although it seems like a lot of people I'm running into can still speak English. Oh look, there's a place where you can go buy birthday cakes. Here's a couple of different venues. There's a bar and KTV room. Over here is a karaoke place. Over here is the Central Mall. This must be like the main shopping place for Chiang Rai. There's something else. I have no idea what that is. Probably should though. All right, guys, coming up here is the central Chiang Rai shopping center. I think this is where you go if you want to buy most clothes or cosmetics, electronics, lots of stuff at this mall. This is probably the biggest place to shop in all of Chiang Rai. One thing I love about this town is that there's plenty of pedestrian bridges, kind of like there's that bridge, that bridge. It's somewhat easy to cross the street but still, the bridge makes things a lot safer. Get a load of this mall. You can take a look around here. There's different places to eat. There's a food court down at the bottom. 
there's a movie theater up at the top. Up here is where they have the more fancy, kind of high-end restaurants, or at least they're mid-range. They got a little steakhouse there. Got a kid's menu, it looks like. Over here they got Potato Corner, Dairy Queen, lots of great stuff. Oh look, they're selling cars. That one is like 328,000, that one is like 536,000, 779,000. So they're really not much cheaper than they would be in the States. Maybe a little bit. I don't know if they're new or used. Over here they've got another food park. All right guys, take a look at that curry. I got curried beef and noodles. This might be similar to khao soy. This looks really, really good. I don't know if it's khao soy or not. It wasn't called khao soy, it was just titled uh, curried noodles and beef. So I can hardly wait to dig right into this. Hey guys, here I am with my food. Let me try this. Mmm. Good. It's a little bit creamy. It's not super spicy. It's good though. Some good northern Thai food. We've got a couple different things. We've got a lime that we can add if you want to like get some lime juice in. I really like lime. I think lime makes it all the better. So we're going to add some lime to that. And a couple things. We got some pickled vegetables. We've also got some chili and some sugar. So we can add these. I do like these because they give it flavor. So let me get this open. should make it all the better. Let me try this. I might add a little bit of chili. I don't want a lot of chili because let's just say that can make it very, very spicy. Mm. Lime definitely makes it better. Yeah. Let me try a little bit of this. So good.
got a lot of noodles in this soup. Let me try more of this. All right, guys, look at this. There's like a little light festival here in central Chiang Rai. I did not know about this, but this place is very lively. You can see all different lights, the different colors. There's music playing. It's not crowded. This place is really cool. Very fun place to walk at night. Very fun place to take somebody like your girlfriend or even your family or, you know, where you could just go for your own leisure. But yeah, this... I feel is a must-see place in Chiang Rai. Yeah, see, listen to that. And what I love about this place is you don't have to watch out for people or cars that much, except for that car, but... You know, that car wasn't gonna hit me. Damn, this, this goes on for a long way. So this looks like the parking lot. I don't know what this is exactly. It's some kind of festival here in Chiang Rai. But yeah, people can come and go. It almost reminds me of being in rural Oklahoma a little bit with more of a Thai vibe to it. This place is definitely different from what I'm accustomed to. So this looks like a little town carnival, kinda. I can't tell exactly what it is. Looks like they got food, they got games. They got so many things over here and it is alive and booming. You wanna be on video? Okay. Thought you might want to be famous one day. Look 
Look over there. Oh, there's a band playing. I gotta learn to play the guitar sometime. Oh, there's different coach bags you can buy. Oh man, you might look good with one of those. I was saying one of those might look good on you. Oh, look, more things to do. Looks like they got bubble tea. They got things to do over there.
looks like over there are areas that we can eat at. Okay, this part of the place is a little bit more crowded. They got different stores, electronics, um, clothes, things. Hats. Oh, here's places we can sit down and eat. Does any of this stuff look good to you? No? Looks like they've been making omelets over here, if that looks good.